It's post time for the ninth race. Second division of the Townsend Ackerman Trot. Number 10 CR Navigator was off stride. He is way behind as they approach the start. And they're off, and it's approved action from Midpack, who heads out toward the front. Brummel Hanover has come out well, and Bands Goldship gets involved early on the inside from third. Up at the rail, a Scepter Hanover in fourth. Condo Commander has gone off stride. Up on the outside, Southwind Luster ranges up into fifth. Bayhead is sixth. Now Southwind Luster goes on a break and takes out American Native. American Native was off stride briefly. D.R. Ackerman has him back trotting, but he lost several lengths there in the opening turn. Up on the inside now into sixth position, first Levesque. Opening quarter in 28 and 2. American Native trying to gather his momentum again is parked out on the outside. So following his cover is Bombay. Then further back to Southwind Luster. Condo Commander second last. And CR Navigator is far behind trailing the field. And approved action is loose in the lead here. He's a length and a half clear. Riding the pocket is Brummel Hanover for that good trip second. Bands Gold Chip is third. And Luke is now first over with Scepter Hanover. He's trying to make some progress up on the rim from fourth as they reach the a half and a comfortable 57 and four. A top trip for American Native. He's gapping cover second over into fifth. Bayhead shuffled back. He's pinned down on the pylon. Sixth on the inside. Seventh on the outside. Bombay who gaps cover. And first Levesque is trotting an eighth and with three eights to go. It's approved action who's rated a sensible pace so far. Scepter Hanover gets a tap with the whip trying to get close to pressure. Brommel Hanover is gapped slightly in the pocket and Bands Goldchip has ridden the rail throughout fourth as they hit three quarters in 126 and 1 and they come to the top of the stretch and approved action has gotten every call so far. Rommel Hanover two lengths back is full out on the inside. Scepter Hanover is flattened out. Bands Goldchip is trying to rally. Bayhead gains toward the rail but approved action is kicked clear from him. Bayhead from in between horses moving towards second. Approved action is almost there and it's approved action. A well rated winner here from Bayhead and Rommel Hanover in 154 and 1. Returning to the winner's circle, number seven, Approved Action. Three-year-old Colt by Sir Torres, out of Dorothy Action by Speed in Action, all by the John Grasso Stable Incorporated from Hawthorne, New York, John Grasso Trains, Regine Danio in the sulky. Approved Action trotting to a career best effort here of 154 and 1 to take this division of the Townsend Ackerman, three-year-old open trot. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation from... 3M Vet Wrap. We have product manager Chris Libby, the equine specialist Tom Woods, and the diagnostic product manager Lisa Laven. All trackside in the winner's circle from 3M Vet Wrap, which is the first name in Flexible Wrap, a proud sponsor of the 75th Hamiltonian. Results have now been posted official. A number seven approved action pays sixty dollars and forty cents to win twenty one twenty and nine twenty. Finishing second, the four Bayhead eighteen twenty nine sixty. Third, the one Brummel Hanover who pays four twenty to show. Exact accommodation seven and four four thirty seven even. Trifecta seven four one pays two thousand two hundred seventy nine even. And the pick three of four seven seven. $781 even.